Hey, what's up guys? Mirai here, and in this video, I'm going to give a quick overview of the ISBoxer user interface. I would like to familiarize new users with how everything is laid out because whether you've never multiboxed before or you're coming from another program, it can be an information overload. Now, as you can see, ISBoxer is broken up into four different panes, and the typical flow is that you'll click on an item in the upper left-hand pane, which will reveal settings in the lower left. If there are further options to configure from there, then those will be found in the lower right. If you can't find what you're immediately looking for in a particular pane, the setting could be hiding under a different tab, so keep a lookout for those. Do note that if you click on an item and you happen to see the message stating that this item has no properties in this context, that means you'll either need to expand the tree of that particular item, or you'll need to right-click on it and create a new one. Most items in ISBoxer can be right-clicked to bring up a menu which contains a handful of extra options. Another feature of ISBoxer is the ability to drag and drop items where you want them assigned. Let me give you a quick example of how this works. Let's say I want to swap out a window layout of a character set with another window layout that I've already created. I would first focus the character set and then click, hold, and drag the new window layout over to the lower left-hand pane. Once I'm there, I can release the mouse button anywhere in the pane and the setting gets changed. More often than not, settings within ISBoxer will be assigned in this fashion. ISBoxer also comes equipped with numerous configuration wizards to help ease the tedious work involved with manually setting up its multiboxing functionality. These wizards can be accessed through the wizards menu at the top of ISBoxer. I will mention that when you would like to create a new character set or a new window layout, it is strongly recommended to use the respective wizard. There are many settings that need to be configured when creating either one of these, and unless you're an advanced ISBoxer user, it's likely you'll make a mistake trying to set these up manually. As I'm sure you've also noticed, in the upper right-hand pane is a built-in web browser. This browser will always display the ISBoxer wiki upon first loading up the program. You're able to fully navigate throughout the wiki just as you would with any other browser. If you click on the ISBoxer icon, there are a handful of useful links that point to specific pages within the wiki itself, such as the quick start guides for specific games, glossary links for the UI elements, and other websites worth visiting. Besides using the built-in links, you're also able to freely navigate to any URL you'd like by just clicking the Go To URL option. So if you maybe wanted to watch an ISBoxer video tutorial on YouTube or visit your favorite blog site, you're able to do just that. I will suggest that all new ISBoxer users read the wiki and the forums when they're trying to figure out how to set things up. Both have an abundance of information about ISBoxer and how to go about setting things up correctly. A few final things to note about the program itself. First, if you want to start over fresh with a clean slate, you don't have to reinstall. You can just go up to File, choose Clear, and you're done. Second, if you need to change the path to Interspace for whatever reason, click on the words ISBoxer in the very top of the upper left-hand pane, and then make sure that ISBoxer Toolkit is highlighted in the lower left. The current path to Interspace will then be displayed in the lower right, and you'll have the option to change the path by clicking on the Browse button. Third, exporting your settings. It's necessary to export your settings from ISBoxer to Innerspace anytime you make changes or else they won't take effect. You can export your settings one of three ways. By either choosing File and then Export, by using the handy keyboard shortcut Control E, or by right-clicking on the word ISBoxer in the upper left-hand pane and choosing to export. All three methods do the exact same thing, so feel free to choose whichever one works best for you. Last but not least, explore the UI for yourself and try things out. Don't be afraid to break your profile because it's as easy as going to file and then clear to start over. If you're paranoid about breaking a working profile, then I would recommend using file save as in case you want to later go back to a previous configuration. Backing up your profile is a good habit to fall into anyway. And that covers the basics of the ISBoxer user interface. For any further questions, comments, or concerns, please visit the ISBoxer forums or the live chat.